I, I think, you know, initially you're, you know, when you're early in the game, you're just, you're trying to um, just stay in the moment and, you know, maybe you're making safe choices when, you know, just what's the normal thing to do in this situation and, and you just do that. Um, as, as you get a bit more grounded and, and more relaxed in the, in the process, um, I think, you know, for me, uh, the first time I remember kind of more consciously making choices that maybe cut against uh, the grain a little bit was... Um, Well, I guess that depends. I mean, I make choices. Um, I never know if they're going to be that interesting until I get some feedback from the audience. Uh, someone watches them and says I've done a good job, then I know they've been interesting choices. Um, but I do my best to try and do what I think um, I find interesting. Um, I, I think, you know, initially, you're, you know, when you're early in the game, you're just you're trying to... Um, just stay in the moment and you know maybe you're making safe choices when you know just what's the normal thing to do in this situation and, and you just do that um, as as you get a bit more grounded and, and more relaxed in the, in the process um, I think you know for me uh, the first time I remember kind of more consciously making choices that maybe cut against uh, the grain a little bit was, um, you know, I, I, I played a character called Brooks on a t TV series called Between that was supposed to be an ongoing character. Um, I think it came at near the end of uh, the last couple episodes of a season uh, that didn't get uh, carried on. But um, it was, for me, an interesting character because he was um, a hitman, um, just kind of a cold killer. Um, and you could play that fairly straight. Um, and uh, in some respects I did. But I think the choice that I was making while doing the performance was that um, I, I chose to have the character look at every one of these people that he was about to take out um, as, um, you know, it, it was kind of ironic to him. Um, and to convey that in some way, um, and I remember that kind of coming out through the audition, um, almost making a tisk tisk kind of sense that someone has done something and now they're going to have to get offed, you know. And um, little shades of that were, were bleeding through in the performance um, at different moments. You know, there's a little little smile before someone gets shot. It's not uh, the most humorous moment. It's it's uh, obviously quite tragic. But um, what's happening there is that the character is seeing kind of um, an, an irony or a, um, a curious piece of humor in someone just um, making a misstep that puts them in a situation where this guy now is taking them out. It's kind of like surprise, you know, um, in a very morbid way. We have reports of suspicious online activity coming from this location. Is that right? And what kind? Corporate espionage. Uh you're kidding, right? I'm taking these reports seriously. Some sort of violent anarchist group is causing huge problems. Their sabotage could end up costing millions. Like I said, we fix spikes. So you won't mind if I have a look at your computer? Actually, I would mind very much. I know my rights. So why don't you come back here with a warrant and I'd be more than happy to show you anything you're legally entitled to look at. As a matter of fact, I already have a warrant. So I know that is an example of kind of a choice being made to kind of infuse something into the character um, that is a little offbeat or unusual. It's not on the page. It's just something you decide about how that character grapples with what they're doing or deals with it. And um, in other situations, it's, um, it's a bit more subtle. I, I, I know um, I was on a TV series called Private Eyes, and in that situation... Um, the, uh, the choice you're making is just um, really, or at least for me, it was just about um, being cocky and kind of uh, tired of, of uh, being cross-examined 
and um, it brings in an element of kind of mild mockery from the character and um, and that that sense of digesting that internally is what comes out in the character figures kids a punk so you're not behind him in the standings of course i am so is half the field but you're the only one with the real shot of knocking them out of the top ten that's all amelia cares about isn't it i guess if i were her position i'd feel the same way what position is that she's broke she needs that bonus because she's bleeding money still not hearing how that clears you how about this i want them in that race that kid treats the track like his own personal video game. I want to see his face when he's eating my best at the checkered flag. Where were you last night? I was in my hotel room. Feel free to check with the manager. Um, so those are probably a couple examples of where I've kind of um, made choices that I, you know, probably puts a certain brand on the character that I'm playing. Um, another one actually that I, I enjoyed quite a bit um, it was a time where I was playing in a TV series called In Contempt, and there was a uh, it was a courtroom scene uh, for a good chunk of it, and that was uh, I was playing a, a police detective. Uh, my way of looking at the character was that um, you know he was kind of a more seasoned cop, uh, maybe in some sense a bit worn out from this is all backstory, a, a bit worn out from um, just the uh, the routine that he's had to deal with over the years. Um, he's got his own biases and he's, um, he's kind of been around the block. And um, that's not just in what he's thinking up here. It's also in his voice and, and, and how he kind of carries and delivers um, things very sort of matter of factly. So I was working on the vocals on that kind of thing. Would you please describe what he is wearing? Black exercise sweats and a blue nylon hoodie with dollar signs across the front. Dollar signs, not lettering. And actually, Mr. Lewis is not wearing black sweats. He's wearing black shorts. Isn't that right? Black sweat shorts. I thought they matched the description. By matched, you mean dollar signs instead of lettering and shorts instead of pants. Withdrawn. When you conducted your safety search, what did you do? I patted the defendant down and felt something in his shorts pocket. I reached in and removed it. Officer, this is a prop 9mm Glock. This is a Beretta 22. So the choices that I was making there kind of affected, to some extent, uh, maybe even the physicality of the character um, and, uh, and the voice of the character. Uh, you you kind of kind of wearing the tired attitude of a, a long worn out cop um, was part of what again a choice that affected the the delivery of that character. <laughs>